There is a key promise that's provided to us in Revelation 3.10. And it says, because you have guarded over or watched over the word of the perseverance of Jesus. And since you've guarded that and you've kept spiritually intact your faith, it says that God will protect you from, out from, within. Ek, out from and to. In other words, an outcome. He will take you out from, within that trial and or temptation. Test and temptation. The word is both test and temptation there. So that's coming upon the whole earth, which will try the entire population of the earth. Okay, that's what that verse says. It says there is a trial that's going to happen in a finite period of time, a logon, a finite period of time, and that during that period of time, people will be tried and tested, and that there will be two different outcomes. But because those people who have kept the faith and have kept strong in it and have guarded over it and watched over it and have endured patiently and that God can provide that strength to endure, those people will be taken out of the time of trial and test. That is clearly what that verse states. I really recommend you do a word study on that verse to to basically check me and see if I'm not telling the truth. Because in my studies, that's exactly what it says. The question is, is have you endured patiently and overcome and held, held fast to your faith? Or have you compromised? Have you become lukewarm? Have you allowed things to happen in your life and in other people's lives? And you just say, well, that's just the way it is. But that's not what Jesus wants. Jesus says that because you are lukewarm and you think that you have everything, but you're actually naked, well, I'm going to spit you out of my mouth. Does that mean that you're not saved? No. It just means that you will not rule and reign with him in the kingdom. Now, you have to ask yourself, we are very close here to this point of no return, where as soon as this rapture occurs, there is going to be chaos, bedlam, the lie is going to be out there for all to see, and a strong delusion will come upon this earth. The strong delusion is already here, but a stronger delusion God will send in order to basically turn people's hearts hard so that they will not believe the lie. And those who are on the fence right now are absolutely 100% in peril. So if that's you and you're wondering whether or not you're going to be taken out of here and not have to go through that time of testing, and why would you need to be if you were actually in the faith and you were strong and you persevered and you overcame this world? If you think that you might have to go through it, now is the time for you to make a change. You need to decide on your own what kind of person you're going to be. Are you going to overcome this world or are you going to continue to live the way that you live and just capitulate and be okay with everything that the way it goes and the way your life is right now? If, if you're in that lifestyle right now, you're probably wondering whether or not you're going to go to the, in the rapture. Well, that's a good thing that you're actually questioning it because that's the Holy Spirit working within you that's saying the time is short. You need to repent and change. I hope this message finds, you know, the, the people that really need to, to hear it. I'm sure that it will. God has promised that it will. And I hope those who say, well, Kevin, you're just now a repentance preacher and this and that. The time is not, his time is too short. We cannot be messing around with this. Now listen, if you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, you are saved. 
But the question is, is that enough for you? I know that's not enough for me. I want to dwell in the kingdom of heaven with Jesus. I want to dwell in the kingdom of heaven with the Father. I want to rule and reign. I want to be like him. I don't want to just be saved and escape the lake of fire. I actually want to escape the trials and the temptations that are coming upon this earth that are going to hit every single person on this earth. And that there's going to need to be a choice to be made by those people. And it's either a, it's a binary. It's either you accept the truth of Jesus or you don't. And you die and go into the lake of hell and the lake of fire. This decision is going to have to be made. And right now, it's easy for you not to make it because you don't have to. But I'm telling you that if you wait and you continue to go through this, you are going to go into that and receive the strong delusion. You are playing with fire, literally the second death of fire. I encourage you today to become a new person, to become born again, to live your life for Jesus and forsake all others. I pray that this message finds you and blesses you. Because we do not have much time left, people. God bless you.